Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you an exciting new compressor. It's free and you just have to go get it. So let's get this straight. This is the year 2022. It's Christmas time. Black Friday just went by in like... <laughs> and now I'm sitting here wondering what, what did I spend all my money on? Because analog obsession, basically just a guy in a shit doing his weird analog plugin stuff has just released what basically is a compressor for free but it's a dual series compressor so it has vca fet and opto compression and if you don't know what that is vca is basically like if you think like ssl the channel strip and an ssl um, 4k that's based on the dbx compression uh, vca dbx compressor fet field emission transformer i don't know what the actual letter stands for but think 1176 you know fast punchy compression with attack times that rival like you know the blink of an eye and last but not least opto compression what is opto think la2a uh, la4 LA3A is also up to an up to a compressor. And not only do you have the possibility to run them in series, because there's two of the same plugin in the same plugin. Yeah, I'll show you in a while. But you can also combine VCA, FET, and up to compression in the same plugin. And this seems like a big bunch of voodoo, so let's uh, jump on into logic and see what actually happens when I start using this plugin. Okay, guys, this is the plugin. It's analog obsession the comper and i'm gonna try to explain this as <laughs> as best i can what you're looking at is basically a dual serial compressor follow me on this one first off if you look at the gui you can see that it's basically the same controls in two rows so this is the first row you have threshold all the you know all the normal Par parameters that you would expect from a compressor. You have the threshold, ratio, attack, release, and the makeup. Um, upstairs, down. let's go downstairs. Downstairs you have the exact same parameters. Threshold, ratio, attack, release, and makeup. And then you have the ability to choose between VCA, FET, or Opto, or as you can see, I can push all of the buttons and they stay on, which means that besides the fact that this is a dual compressor with like an upstairs and a downstairs you can actually combine the different characteristics of vca fet and up to compression if the threshold is all the way up at like plus 10 the compressor isn't doing anything right now for the sake of uh, this demonstration i have it across my my drum bus so right now the drum bus is this there's a comper and on the output of uh, logic i have uh, Pro-L doing like, you know, just to keep the lights from going on. So this is the drum bus without anything. So if I start bringing down the threshold on this first row, let's just decide to call it, this is the upstairs. So if I drive down the threshold, Nothing happens because I haven't told the compressor, the compressor what kind of characteristic I would like. Is it VCA compression? I have to dial back the threshold. Ooh. Me likey, me likey a lot. You know what? Just stop right there, pause this video and just go get it because this kind of punchy VCA compression, which you can actually mix in, just go get it. I promise you, you'll thank me later. Put it on your drum bus. It doesn't matter if it's like this organic drums or like a dance tune or hip hop. So this setting is, I guess, almost like almost like the basic setting. The basic setting is 10 milliseconds attack, 4 to 1. So I goosed up the ratio. Sue me. And 100 milliseconds. VCA. Fed. 
and up toe. So what's the difference between the different characteristics of a VCA, a FET, and an optical compressor? That's a good question because when we listen to it here, it's difficult to hear that big of a difference. But when we think about, you know, an 1176, an LA-2A, and like, um, and like the channel compressor on an SSL-4K, we tend to think that they're uh, really different when in actuality they're not that different it's more like when you have one company doing their version of compression you you're going to you're going to see that the that the way they interpret the the words attack or the parameters attack and release it's actually it's it's it, it's kind of different because is attack is that measured when it actually starts to clamp on or is, is it measured when the full effect of the attack has been measured? So there's a lot of, you know, woohoo. And the, the basic thing is you have a free compressor that you can just set up in like 10 seconds. And no matter the style, sounds good. Up to is kind of smooth. Listen to the very, very first transient of the snare. You can hear the difference. VCA lets a little bit more of the transient through. Let's just use all three. Ooh. Me like it. Ooh, I like this a lot. And if you think this is too aggressive, <laughs> you probably do. Just dial it back. Zero compression, 100% dry. This is 50-50. I like this. So just for snits and giggles, let's just do a little less of the blended uh, processed signal and, and head downstairs. So downstairs seems to be almost the exact same thing. So to be quite honest, what I was looking for, I got from the upstairs, but we're here. Let's just go searching for like, you know, how about VCA compression with like a longer attack, a faster release, and a low ratio for like 1.5. And let's blend it in. Nope, don't like it. How about a shorter attack? You know what? Let's do something else. We have the punch from upstairs. Let's go downstairs and look for like the body. So uh, higher ratio of like, I don't know, eight to one, the fastest possible attack and like a release of like, I don't know, 200, 300 milliseconds. And start by listening to it really compressed. Ooh, and let's blend it in. Oh, I like this. I don't know about you guys, but depending on what style you're mixing, this could actually solve quite a few problems for me because I could go even more attacky upstairs. and then just squish the living daylight out of it uh, downstairs.
if you listen to it now with all of the compression and the kind of you know the squish that comes with compression and i love compression i think for me growing up in the 90s that that was actually kind of the sound you know all of the tom lot or uh, lg compression it feels kind of squishy and also like punchy and so i feel that this this kind of compression it sounds finished and polished and if i bring in the bass on this track Ooh, watch out and the guitars now listen <laughs> it's not that it's exactly bad the snare drum and the uh, and the whole of the, the drum kit without the analog obsession comber but it just kind of it fits the rest of the song this and i don't know how to explain it but it's kind of like this squishy sound of like you hear the snare and it wants to punch you in the face but but the compressor is it's not letting it do it so i'll try to just bypass the comber on the drum bus as we hear the it in the context of the song And I want to remind you, this is a free compressor. It's free, but just listen, because this does something magical. And it's not that I have magic hands, it's just because the way that you can blend so much compression into a drum kit and make it exciting without with To be honest, it just, to me, it feels more like a record. The last thing I wanted to show you that this compressor does very well, I want to bring it over to the mix bus. I'm going to see if I can just bypass everything. Should have made a damn preset for this, but I guess we'll manage. So what if I want to compress the entire mix? Let's try. Okay, so uh, I know I'm overdoing this, but I want you to pay attention to the way that the kick and the snare kind of reacts to the rest of the song. And you have to remember that a compressor wants to see energy. When you put energy into this compressor, and basically that means in a song like this, the kick, the snare, sometimes the vocal. I can't play the vocal because actually I'm not allowed to. Go figure. But basically those three or four things, you know, kick, snare, bass, sometimes the vocals, that's going to be the most energetic, uh, uh, the key elements in this song. You want to listen for the way the kick and snare releases and kind of punches the rest of the mix into place with this compressor. And I know this is kind of perhaps a little bit too punchy, but you can always dial it back. And remember, because this is <laughs> this is two compressors in series, you could actually just say, you know what, I like the VCA compression up here, but I want to do something a little more, you know, faster attack, slower uh, release, and like a low ratio, and 
do like an opto blended in. The best way for me to explain what this compressor does, and it doesn't really matter if you're using VCA, FET or Opto, just listen to the way this kick and snare interact with the rest of the instruments when I hit power. So what you have here is the ability to do almost <laughs> any kind of compression and the cost is <whistles> zero. No matter what currency you're using, the cost will still be the same, zero dollars. If you want to, you can go support Analog Obsession by donating through his website or Patreon, I believe it's Patreon. And why wouldn't you? Because in my opinion, this compa rivals everything that's out there and I have, you know, a lot of the UAD stuff and I paid good money for it and I'm still using this. To be quite honest, Analog Obsession, a godsend. I have to tell you, it's a godsend. So without further ado, thank you for checking in. Go get the camera and let's look and listen to some more compression.